This is Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman. Be sure to watch Vonsky Channel, or I'll come after you. Witam tu Wąski, witam Was na Wąskim Kanale. Dzisiaj przenosimy się do magicznej krainy w Louisville, Kentucky. że zawsze wszystkie bronie muszą przejść przez kontrolę policyjną. I'm cosplaying Froppy from My Hero Academia. Um, she is a student superhero at the Academy for Superheroes and her tongue is very sticky. That's her superpower. <laughs> okay, that's cool. This is how we do this. I'm cosplaying Akali from KDA League of Legends. Okay, so was it hard to make this one? Uh, the details and everything? Um, this was just, a lot of it was just hot glued together, honestly. Um, these are earrings. Um, I already had the crop top and leggings, and we just cut it. Um, my sister actually made this jacket from scratch. So it has all the cool quilting detailing, and it has the quilting lining on the inside as well. And it turns blue and purple in lighting, which is really cool. I'll take my time. I want you, but I'm shy. Here's my cup filled right up. I'll never stop. I'll never stop, 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 stop. Hello, my name is Kay Bear. I'm from Atlanta, and my costume today is Bowsette. Okay, it wasn't hard to make. How it wasn't pieces? too hard okay. to make. Uh, these were kind of hard to make. These were made out of uh, air bake air dry clay and then I sewed all of these and I styled the wig and I made the crown. It was pretty fun to make. Most of it's made out of foam and clay. Hi, my name is Stella Chu and today I'm cosplaying as uh, KDA Ari from League of Legends. It's from the Popstars video that just came out a few weeks ago and I managed to make this costume in about three days. Um, I made the entire thing myself out of Ava Foam, um, fabric from Yaya Han's collection. I made the tail myself, I 3D modeled it, and it's made of transparent word glow with cellophane on top. Um, also, I made the ears myself, and they come off with magnets, um, so I could just pop it right on my head. Uh, yeah, so it's been really fun making this costume. I kind of rushed it to get it done so I can have it for this convention, but I did also manage to take really cool photos of it. Um, someday I plan to make all nine tails, and I think it'd be really, really fun. But yeah, this was a really great costume to make. I never stop, 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 stop. Stop. I never stop, 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 stop. I'm Benji Smalls. I am a cosplayer here in America and I've been cosplaying for about five years now. So today I'm cosplaying a red mage from Final Fantasy XIV. And you'll see that it's pretty elaborate, it's very Victorian inspired. Um, so yeah, I tried to put as many details in this costume as possible. I'm actually a, a cat character, um, but their ears are hidden in the hat, so you can't quite tell, but I have a tail too. Um, the hardest, I've, the, my favorite to make and the hardest took me an entire year, and it's that one on that poster right there. It's Nova from StarCraft. Um, that was my first time using 3D printers to make armor and things like that, and I learned a lot during that process. And that everything I learned that during that process has helped shape everything I make today. So, and your favorite one? My favorite one, uh, probably the one right next to it. It's Tracer from Overwatch. 
that one's just fun. It's a lot of fun to be that character because she's so energetic and she's cheerful. It's really good. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what's you guys wearing today? Uh, we're both wearing steampunk. Steampunk. Sure, can you tell me about your outfits? Was it hard to make? What you uh, wearing? Not too bad. Hers, she made... Well, what you Most make? Most of it, yeah. yeah. The guns I bought, um, the boots I bought, but I added on some pieces and custom made some of the underlinings. And then... I bought most of mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so it's bought, okay. Yeah. yeah, I bought all the pieces and then assembled it all together. Uh -huh. Okay, how about, how about all the details here? Yes, a lot of the chain work, you just connect onto these, and these are kind of just for show. Um, but it's just a normal corset underneath. Okay, are your hair natural or...? Uh, no, <laughs> I wish it was this cool. Uh, okay, no, it's and, a the, and the feathers? I built that, it's we'll just sure a, like long right feathers down, attached right? and then you have like a little brooch in the front. I sit right down and write a letter But Frankie said it better I almost feel it when you smile Okay, to jest całkiem spoko. Włącznik do światła. Jasna strona, ciemna strona. To, to jest, to jest, to jest spoko. To jest bardzo kreatywne. I never stop, 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 stop. What's your cosplay and was it hard to make? I'm Pennywise, the dancing clown! Yes, it was very hard to make. I see, I see. So can you tell me about it? Um, I didn't want to use a mask. And I didn't want to buy a store-bought costume. Um, I learned how to make prosthetics over the last year. I started, this is about my third one, and I got better and better each time. Mm -hmm. um, I had help with the wig. I had a professional wig maker make this one. I made my first one myself, but I wanted a real nice hairline and everything. So how do you think, what was the cost of the full outfit? I can't even say. Um, I did have help with the costume. Uh, seamstress helped me. We helped, we designed it. Um, okay. It was, it was, it was worth it. I, I'm having so much fun with being this character. Hey, so what you guys wearing today and was it hard to make? Uh, no, I'm Black Canary. Basically just had everything already and um, just bought a wig and painted my mask on. So it's not your natural hair color? No, no. Okay, no. and the eyes? Um, there are contacts. Okay. Sure. Greetings to Poland. You are an awesome country and thank you so much for giving us The Witcher. One of the greatest characters you'll ever find. Oh, we need to get closer. <laughs> I guess. Ah, that's terrible. What uh, is Zuf? I'm the dude or Duder, his dudeness, El Duderino, if you're not into the whole brevity thing, man. It's amazing. I am Poison Ivy and it wasn't too hard to make, just took a long time to glue all these leaves on. Well, I'm Wolverine, I'm Logan. I've got the actual dog tags right here. I don't know if I'm going to upside down or not. Yep, there they go. Just like that. Yep. Got all of that. Got my nice nice claws i don't have to worry about them falling off they're part of the hands now uh have got the facial hair that's that's been something to walk around with let me tell you this is very very popular <laughs> is it yours can you tell me about it for my vlog completely 3d printed took five months to make started in february of this year ended around july uh, this is the first big con I've had him to. Dobra, wchodzimy do sekcji gamingowej. Tutaj gramy w gry. Tutaj się nerdzimy i tyjemy. Hi guys, could you tell me 
who you guys are, what's your cosplay, and was it hard to make? My character is uh, Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I made the costume out of cardstock paper with uh, fiberglass, bondo, uh, painted it all. And it took about four months to make. The hair, same thing, it was uh, cardstock uh, paper, shaped it out, resin did, and uh, took some wigs, cut them all up, and then hot glued them together. Uh, my, my character is Thor from Marvel, uh, made it all out of EVA foam. Uh, I would say I probably got uh, about 40 hours in this whole thing, painting, drawing it out, trying to get the ideas, how to uh, put it all together. Other than that, I'd say... Uh, well, you have a Groot, too. Oh, and I have a little Groot, because in the movie that's what the stick was made out of. You ready? One. I'm Groot! <laughs> Most of what I have was actually fairly easy to get, just a bit costly. The chain mail in of itself I was able to get from an online dealer. It was rough, it was fairly expensive. The gloves and the braces, the braces were a bit cheaper. The gloves are actually made of deer skin. The most that I've had to physically work on it is the tabard. It was actually a shirt. I had to cut off the sleeves, I had to cut down the sides, fold them inward and stitch them up to where it actually looks like a standard tabard. The helmet itself was pre-made, but also had to be ordered. The 501st Legion is the costuming organization, um, and we're, most of the folks who are part of DCPC, which is the pit crew organization, is part of uh, the 501st Legion. We got a couple Rebel Legion folks as well. However, most of uh, the folks that you see behind, or the equipment that you see behind here, was built by a group of independent guys called Derby City Pit Crew. And uh, the intent, of, you know, is a way to uh, reach back and kind of give something to the con players because most people come into a convention, you see things, but there's not a whole lot that you can touch, and there's not a lot that you can interact with. And as you can see, what we wanted to do, oh, cheers, what we wanted to do was give an opportunity for people to uh, interact with the Star Wars community as well as. So could you tell me how do you think? Uh... How much time did you need to build all that drops? Uh, most of what you see here was built over the course of about uh, a year and a half. Uh, started off with the uh, the walker, and we did that in about uh, it was about four and a half, five months, I think. And after that, then we started working was on the bikes was part time. It did you fund guys? Uh, no, it actually was all independently funded through um, uh, some local individuals, some of the members as privately owned. Most of the folks in the 501st Legion, you know, well, I say most, all of us own our own uh, our own costumes, own our own props, and so it was a, um, a collaborative effort between a couple of folks. Uh, but okay, so it, this is a hobby. This is more than a hobby. It's like a true passion. But sure. can you actually make a living out of it? Oh, no, no. Everything we do is completely for charity. There's not a dime made by the group that's here. Uh, everything that we're raising today, we've got a blue bucket over there that we're asking for folks to donate to the local children's hospital. So at the end of the convention, we'll count that up and we'll put a, you know, it'll all go into the children's hospital. Um, to be to be honest, nobody should be making money off of Star Wars except for the, uh, the license holders and the people who have the intellectual property rights. So what we do is we're an outreach. Uh, and it's using Star Wars to uh, make make things better, whether it's for kids in the children's hospital or a, a local school. So yeah, that's really what we're into. Look at this girl. Like, head out. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, and those are, uh, you know, it, it's all about making kids happy. At the end of the day, if the kids are happy, we're happy. And this
Wchodziłem dzisiaj w wywiady z według mnie najlepszymi cosplayami, jakie spotkałem tutaj w Louisville w Kentucky. Dajcie znać, który Wam się podobał najbardziej. No i ciekaw jestem, jak to będzie w Warszawie na Comic Conie. Mam nadzieję, że uda mi się go odwiedzić. Tutaj jest wszystko. Mam nadzieję, że udało mi się pokazać ogrom e, tego super konu w Louisville, w Kentucky, w Stanach Zjednoczonych. Ciężko jest mi powiedzieć, jak to wygląda w Polsce. Jeszcze nie byłem na Warsaw Comic Conie, ale mam nadzieję, że uda mi się być obecny. Z Louisville, w Kentucky, wąski, wąski kanał.